Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you another divine encounter based upon that dream I had with the dog with the hurt paw. So this is the uh, second confirmation, I guess. Uh, you know, the Lord has uh, shown me that there are many layers to blessings and many layers to different things. And so um, this is a testament to how many layers um, God has. He can use one thing over and over and over. All right, uh, here's this. Um, and this time I did get their, their um, permission and I caught their uh, uh, permission on camera and I'll post that as well as their little story and how it confirms a prophetic dream of the dog that was hurt. Well, you have my full permission to post my stories on your YouTube channel. All so, right, and I'd we'll do. And I'd love to see the feedback when I go on there and look myself. Yeah. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So I gotta ask you, you ever experience anything supernatural or unexplainable by science? Um, let's see. I have a whole YouTube channel based on mine and my riders' experiences. So, do you know where the Wolf Creek Inn is? You know, I heard of Wolf Creek. Okay. Out in the middle of nowhere. Tiny town. Less than the population of Gold Hill. Huh. Um, there's an, uh, an inn there with taverns. Supposedly it's the second oldest in the country or something like that. It used to be a stagecoach stop. Oh, really? And it is notoriously haunted. Oh. And, um... So they have, they have room, I guess there was a room that's like the most haunted, I guess, where like the guests experience the most activity. So me and my buddies, uh, the two of us, three of us, sorry, we went, stayed the night. We didn't even know, but that was the room. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, we did not experience anything in the room itself. Yeah. But we had to go back out and get our luggage, and all three of us went out to get our luggage to go back up there, and we were the only ones staying in the inn that night. And it's, it's only, you can only book it through an Airbnb. Oh, really? Oh. And all the windows are the lights, and all the rooms are off except for ours. We left ours on. And I turn around when I grab my suitcase, and the light of the room across from us is on. Oh. Very strange. And we, we enter through this long hallway, and then at the end of the hallway to the left, there's the stairs going up. We're getting about halfway down the hallway, it sounds like someone's coming down the stairs. You can hear the creaking as it's going down. Mm -hmm. Now, we can tell when it's getting to the bottom, and we heard like the, the creak of the very bottom floorboard at the end of the steps, and we're expecting someone to turn the corner. Not a single soul turned that corner. Wow. We went up there, there was no one. <laughs> and, um, we explored the whole place. It was just, it was really cool and, and old cowboy style. There wasn't anything like active besides when we weren't around. Um, now we went to bed around two in the morning and I, I had woken up at 3.30 in the morning. It was sounding kind of like a, a wolf howling at the same time. And I was like, well, it's Wolf Creek, it makes sense. But it gradually got higher pitched, higher pitched. And finally, after like about four or five times of hearing it, I recognized it's not outside. It's down the hall in like the parlor room where like the people used to dance and everything. Hmm. And it turns into this like one blood curdling like screech, like a noise I've never heard in my life. Sh shocked I me. Mean, I woke up my friend. I'm like, gotta wake up and hear. You know, this. I might have something that sounds just like it. Uh, uh, oh, here here's um, it's interesting because uh, on my birthday I went to go get a free birthday burger at Denny's, right? Right. But uh, the guy um. I waited for like an hour and a half. I'm like, what's what's happening? And they're like, oh, he's sick. I'm like, what? He's sick? So I said, can I have a refund? They're like, sorry, the manager's not here. He, he can't have a refund right now. And I'm like, what? so I left, you know, without a refund. It's like a Denny's, like a den of wolves, you know? Right. Think of like, like wolf's den. Right. And, um... And sisters, I want to provide an update about spiritual battles. Earlier, I went to Denny's to get a meal. And... It was taking almost over an hour. So I asked for a refund and they couldn't refund me, so I left. Now, when you think of Den and Denny's like a den, as I was driving off, there was a person howling like a wolf. And it sounds a lot different in my audio and video recording that I captured. And I'm gonna use this as a learning tool for people.
rebuke all unclean spirits of the wolf in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's too high pitch for a man. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and you would expect to not really hear it from inside your car as well. Yep. Anyways, so my grandma, my grandma's dog passed away about a month ago. Hmm. Um, she had to put it to sleep, but it's been with us our whole life. It was a little. Was a Yorkie? Huh? Oh, a lap dog? Yeah, it was a little like, you know, yapper. Yorkie? Yeah, it, well, it was like a Maltese Bichon, just a little fluffy white dog. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> um, and I live in my houses, and this hmm. is where this happened. So my room has a window that goes to the outside of the yard. There's, there's a camera out there and everything, but it's super dark at night, and we have a floodlight that comes on hmm. if there's movement. So my grandma sometimes will get up and let the dog out at uh, horrible hours of the night, and um, I'm sitting in my room at about 12.30 at night and I'm playing games on my computer and I heard my grandma get up and I'm like, oh, whatever. And <clears throat> then I heard like a little bit of commotion out my window and I was like, whatever, it's probably just some stupid raccoon running or the cats. So we had a cat that was out there. Right. And my grandma goes, Ryan! I was like, yeah, she was like, Lily's being attacked, go out there and help her, I can't get there in time. So, my gun's in the case, so obviously I don't have enough time for getting attacked, so I I grab my baton and my flashlight and I run out there and I go all the way around the house and I shine the flashlight I don't see a single thing and I don't see the dog right and I see where there's been a scuffle like there's movement there was like you know marks on the ground and they were pretty big and like with the dirt been moved and I go back around I still don't see the dog anymore I'm like what the heck hmm. and I go back and into the house and I'm like where's Lily and she's like I don't know here comes the dog limping and up to the house and right she's Oh, so her, her leg was hurt. Her leg was hurt. Yeah, she was bleeding all over our living room floor. It was insane. And so we put her up in the sink and we, you know, patched her up as best as we could. My grandma just went to bed the next day. I was like, I gotta find out what that was because I didn't see a single thing. And even if it was a raccoon, I would have heard more commotion out there than running away. And so I go on the cameras and I and I hit the exact mark where my grandma goes, Ryan, which is probably about, let's say, for example, 1232. Yeah. And I'm watching and I don't see anything. And then the camera does like a little glitch and a fuzz, and then it keeps rolling, and I never saw the dog once. It was a demon. It had to have been some, you know about the skinwalkers, right? Yeah, exactly, yes I do. And we do live in what was native territory, yeah. the Paloma tribe. Yeah, um, you know, um, I had a girl in my cab, she's being haunted by something called Ozawe, or warrior in Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And it was just a lying demon spirit, and it was the spirit of Lucifer, and um, uh, it, it came about her because of um, her mom playing with Ouija when she was in the womb. Right. And she caught a, a black mist demon descending on her kid in his crib on camera, and she sent it to me. I could show it to you. But sure. pause your story, even because I actually was given a prophetic dream about um, that dog, and I'm going to show you on the YouTube video right here. Really? About a dog? Yes. Wow. Here we go. It was December 16th I had this dream. Hello, brothers and sisters. I had a prophetic dream of a deer coming in my window and uh, this, its side was healed. And I didn't really understand this until now when I saw a video of this one puppy. It had been 70% skinned and he saved it and uh, did skin grafting and different surgeries and uh, its scar looked exactly like this deer and uh, so I, I I took the deer's um, leg and I, I helped it. I, it was broken and I put it back into place. And then just last night I had another prophetic dream of being catapulted into a, a dump. And I saw an animal who was hurt running around and um, its paw had been uh, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that was the second confirmation of that dog running around in my dream. It was like a little white dog. Uh, with a broken, hurt paw that was bleeding, just like he said, um, it came in and its paw was bleeding out all over, and uh, the the skin in the back, which was the talk, is shelter story. All right, Amen. God bless and take care. Well, you have my full permission to post my stories on your YouTube channel. All right, and I'd we'll love do. To see the feedback when I go on there and look myself. Yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate it.